is going on, friends? It is Thursday. That means we're here for another session of Triple T, which is talks. I messed it up. I messed up my own tagline. Whatever it is, right? It hasn't been much of tips and tutorials and talktorials and all that stuff, but it is. It's meant to be, okay? So just go with me. And we're all kerfuffled now, so um, just tell me what's in your cup. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just start with that. Also, today... I have a question for you. How do you make your goals a reality? And this is gonna go back into something that we chatted about last week. If you were here and you heard me and we were talking about um, you know, doing things that like make you a little bit uncomfortable, but that's where the growth is, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, I have been growing, I guess you could say, because I've been doing lots of things that make me uncomfortable. Don't take that in any way, it's not supposed to be weird, okay? So let's chat about the Chantel Hills in the house. Oh my gosh, girlfriend, it's been a while since I've seen, it's so nice to see you. How are you? How are you? Oh my gosh, give me the scoop, the update, the 411, the skinny on everything that has been new in your world, Please let me know. It's great to see you. Very, very, very great to see you. So one of the things that I was talking about last week, right, and you can remind me if we talked about this or not, it was about, you know, do I or do I not make a, like, post on LinkedIn and talk about, like, offers and blah, blah all, this, all, these, all the things I don't want to do, right? All the things that y'all know I hate doing, things like promoting yourself, talking about sales, offers, but you have to do those things if you want to, I don't know, like let people know that you have things available for sale. It's a really awful scenario, right? But I was saying that last week I was going to, I was contemplating making a post on LinkedIn, right? And long story longer than it needs to be, I did. I made a very short, succinct post on LinkedIn, just saying like calling video podcast, I think I copy and pasted um, or copy pasted as we will say onto Facebook as well. So I just said, Hey, uh, if you're a video podcaster or, you know, live streamer and you want to have short form vertical content or something like that, hit me up basically. And I cringed at hitting the send button. I really did. I really did. However, I want to tell you guys this. I had someone reach out to me from LinkedIn, someone that I've talked to at a previous conference. And in fact, we were both presenters. And they said, oh, actually, let's chat about this. This seems like something that might be up my alley. And I was like, sweet. So actually, we just signed an official thing. So we're going to do a 30 day, uh, you know, like or a one month, basically, of me helping them get some content for their various social media platforms. And so there it is one post money, right? And, and I think you guys can see it on the website. It's contentminis.com. So one month, uh, one post on LinkedIn got me 500. That would have been a better live stream title, right? One post, you know, $500. But um, actually, though, before that, someone else mentioned that they had also seen that post and they wanted to chat with me. So I could almost, if I also close that client, I could say how one post on LinkedIn made me $1,000. That'd be a catchy title. People would watch that, unlike most of the rest of my videos. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll think about that. Hello, Tech for Your Needs. Hello, Dutch Can Jam. Hello, all of the friendly, familiar faces. It's so nice to see every single one of you. I am so glad that you're here. We're talking about what does it take to make your dreams a reality? And so this is our, your goals, right? And I, like I said, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to pitch. What's funny is I got on a call with that person that found me from the LinkedIn post and said, oh, you know, it was so great to see that post because I was just thinking to myself that I need to get this done. I think I remember hearing you say that maybe you were going to start up this thing and do this. And then when I saw that, it was like a, a reminder to like, <laughs> um, you know, and I was just like, hey, look at that. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. And um, now I have an extra $500 that I wouldn't have had before. Fast forward also, or rewind, however you want to say that, um, I was talking to someone and I was going to, I think, even be a podcast guest and I'm going to speak at their conference. And they were like, hey, don't go back to work full time. Let me be one of your first clients if you are taking on four. So I have two clients now, y'all. I have two. Plus I have someone else that's possibly um, in my mastermind circle of friends um, who might possibly want to do one month as well. So you know what? Wow. I mean, I mean, I can only take on four clients anyway. That's all I would want to take on. But um, 
maybe it isn't as hard for some people to get where they want to go if they just open their mouth and actually talk about it. But this rolls into today's subject, which is everyone has these lofty goals, whether it's, you know, um, make a hundred thousand or get a hundred thousand subscribers or, um, you know, whatever else it is, make a hundred videos. What do we do? What is the roadmap that gets you from, I want to do this thing to looking back and I did complete this thing. So this is today's topic and I want to chat with you all about because what kind of roadmap are we making for ourselves? What kind of mistakes are we willing to make or learn and grow along the way? Because I find a lot of people want to come up and brainstorm with this big plan and then the big plan may be perfect in a, what is it, in like a, in a, canister or whatever, whatever that saying is, you guys know the saying, right? Or it's like, it's perfect in an airtight container without any gravity or without any like outside speck of dust that can get in. You know what I'm saying? You know that saying. And, um, but then in the real world, it doesn't actually equate to being feasible or sometimes just getting in, messing up, falling down, getting up, redoing the whole thing over again is where you actually end up learning. And then I was thinking about the phrasing, and then the movie as well subsequently because of the phrasing. The pursuit of happiness. None of us are guaranteed happiness. None of us are promised it, but we are promised the pursuit of happiness. And as Gary Vaynerchuk would always you know, tell you, it's always about the pursuit. It's about the journey. It's not always about the end destination because if you sometimes get it, it's not like, it's not what you thought it was. It's not enough. And it's never actually the ending point anyway. Um, and it's the pursuit of that goal, the pursuit of that endeavor, the pursuit of that, that actually is where all of that growth happens. You guys feel me on this one? Can I get a little bit of a... Now, that to be said, I did have someone sign up for content minis, and then I contacted them, and I was like, okay, so let's come up with a game plan. So number one, um, I was like, let's get on a Zoom call, and let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, what are your preferred platforms, um, you know, what do you want, do you always want a video, a vertical video, do you want it inside of a, like a, a square, you want the burned in captions, you want the emojis, you want the, you know, certain brand colors, like stuff that I thought would be like, good questions to ask, right? And then later I was like, girl, you're a dunce. You should have like a Google intake form that asks these questions maybe before you get to that meeting so that you can just review it and confirm, not make them think about it on the spot where they may even give you the wrong answer. Lesson one. Lesson two was, um, I was like, okay. So at first I thought I just wanted someone's finished video but the problem is they've already worked with an editor and it's got all of these animations and pop-ups and text on screen. And if I'm never allowed to like squish it into a square or do something else like that, it can become really difficult. And then I was like, well, maybe I need to have a video that doesn't have all the stuff on it. Maybe I can't always use the finished video and I need to use the um, like the raw stuff. And then I was like, oh no, what if they've already color graded? What if they've already done all this stuff? And now I'm getting into the weeds and in my head about like, it's not going to match or I don't know. And I even did one and I posted it up on a Google drive. And that was the thing. I'm like, where am I going to put it? Are they going to have access to like, do they need to have the ability to comment and annotate and timestamp what they do and don't like, or when they want something different? And I'm like, does that mean I'm gonna have to be in like frame IO or some other editing, co-editing space where they can um, annotate and leave notes? And then it was like, oh my God, what do I do? So it was like every single step of the way as I'm walking through the weeds, like feeling like I'm slogging and getting nowhere. But I am learning things because I also found out that because I pay for Adobe Creative Cloud, because Adobe has purchased uh, frame IO, you do get like a tiny bit of an upgraded version of the free level of frame IO. So I can, if I wanted to, um, because I only have one or two clients right now, I can send them review links in Frame.io, and right now I believe it can still be free. I think it also has to do with the number of projects, so they would have to approve it, and then I would have to move it out of Frame.io, and then go on and so forth. Go on and <laughs> so on and so forth. You know what I mean? But then it came another thing. I was like, you know what? If you're going to have a Google form for people to input their information, Right. Because I also I made a guess on what kind of font because I didn't care to ask, apparently, if they had a specific brand font. That's an important question. I didn't know. I was like, what are your colors? I, I'm, I'm like, do you have hex codes? Do you just 
<laughs> red, white, and blue. Like there's a lot of room for interpretation for it, right? And I'm like, I should have more specifics. I should also have like, are you looking for carousel posts? Are you looking for quote posts? Are you looking for, you know, what are the specifics of what you want? What's the tone of your social media or brand? Is it sarcastic? Is it witty? Is it like staunchly, like very stoic? Is it like very professional and buttoned up? Like I need to know these things, right? Because I'm like, how am I supposed to, I don't know, I could make, I could end up making some wacky TikTok thing when they're like a, a buttoned up investment firm. And I'm just like, I don't know. So I built this form and for the second person that I chatted with that I got off of LinkedIn, oh, and I think I also told you the person, the first person tried to pay me and it turns out that my website, Content Minis, was hooked up to my PayPal, but the PayPal button to check out was going to the sandbox environment, which is a testing environment, which means anything that you do, any transactions that you run and process, they don't actually it's like a testing ground. It, it doesn't actually stick. So like even if it, help, it like gave a hold or something, it would just reverse it all at the end of the night because it's not a real transaction. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed because I had to then tell my friend. She's like, oh yeah, I, I just paid on the website. And I'm like, that's weird because usually anytime I get paid through PayPal or something, I would get an email saying someone paid, right? But it won't do that because it's not a real transaction because it's in the sandbox, which I hadn't learned because no one, one, had ever tried to pay. And two, like I just didn't realize that's the way it was hooked up because I just figured once you create the button that they help you make on the website that it was going to work as they say it's going to work. But no, you have to go into the developer back end and actually turn it off of testing mode into real mode, which I had never done. So I was like, oh, okay, embarrassing. So I contacted them and I was like, I'm so sorry, but um, hopefully you should see that that transaction did not go through. And in, maybe in a couple of days, can you um, do it for realsies? which is just embarrassing, but I was like, at least it's a friend and not like the last thing you want to do is like for someone to be like, I paid you. And then you'd be like, um, but you didn't. <laughs> and then have to like fight over like, or quibble. It's not fighting, but quibble over money. Right. Cause that's just an uncomfortable talk anyway. So then I, I finished that. And then I, with my friend, I, I guess, you know, he's my friend as well. And, um, I gave him the form and I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm like, look at me. Like I've created a form. Now it says, do you have brand hex color codes? Do you have a link to your, um, OTF or TTF file for your brand specific font? Do you have any rules like all caps? Do you want a lot of emojis? You know, what's the tone of your, whatever, are you looking for carousels or, and I even had like link, uh, or it was like list your platform preference in order, right? Like first preference, second preference for the platforms. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I send them that because um, they were just like, oh, I didn't go to the website. Just send me an invoice. I was like, okay. So I go to in, uh, PayPal. I send an invoice. I send it over. They pay it like immediately, which was fantastic. But then I was like, okay, fill out this intake form, please. It was locked. <laughs> no one could enter anything. And I'm just like, dang it. Every single like step of the way, like, you know, and I feel like people think your entrepreneurship journey is just, or you guys are backwards, is just this straight up line. But I, I feel like it's like up and then like you fall down five steps and then you come up like a half a step and then you go back down two more steps and you're like, why the hell am I doing this? I suck at life. And then it's like, ooh, five steps forward. And then it's like, ooh, 10 steps down. And, and, and it's just like that. And for anyone who's gonna be out there and tell you that it's not like this, they're a freaking liar, okay? There's no one that it's that easy for our, I, I just don't know of any, okay? Edie, hey, how's it going? Great to see you, girl. Great to see you. Um, so that happened, and but I got paid, and now it's, um, I was a little nervous, and then it was just like, okay, do you have a Google Drive file? Do you have any like um, references that, of things that you, you liked, right? So now I feel like I'm getting someplace, but now, I'm also scared shitless because, okay, so I decided that I was going to go into Descript and do some of this stuff. Y'all, I was, you know how much I, I like, I love it, but it's for myself and it's not like with these long files and then all of a sudden I was like, I don't know how to, how to best do this. And then I was like uh, struggling with the stuff with the built-in graphics. And so I took it all and I was like, okay, screw this. And I threw it into Final Cut Pro. At least I know Final Cut Pro well enough to just kind of zip around a little faster. I was like, let me get into some of the stuff. Let me at least get something that's like 40, 50 seconds, right? Let me try and just make a short. And then export that short, take the short, put it into Descript, 
add the captions. And then I fought with the script for a while to do the captions and the emojis. It took me a long time to figure out how to add the emojis separately as a title versus the captions versus the other stuff that's on screen. And if I affected one, it affected like all of them, right? Hey, what's up, Kafka? And I think it probably ended up taking me a full two hours to make a 40 second video just because it seemed all new, right? And taking all the stuff, putting it in Final Cut Pro, exporting it, putting it into the script. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be making lives like easier. I'm supposed to be doing this very, very fast. And I was like, and I know that it's going to get better and it's going to get faster and I'm going to get like more well-versed to all of this. But I will say it shook my confidence to the core where I was just like, I don't even know if I should be charging people money because that was a travesty in how long that took and how unconfident I feel right now. And it was really, it was messing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I haven't even done and completed the first one yet for the second client. <laughs> and it's supposed to be two hours per day per client for, for that. And so even today, which would be the first business day for one of them, I need to put in two hours for one and two hours for the other. So I still have four hours of editing that I'm supposed to do today. And I haven't. And, um, and I'm feeling just nervous and overwhelmed. I'm like, how? What the heck? What was going to happen? Because I was going to take on four clients. In fact, there's still one person who contacted me and said that they would like to maybe do a month. And there's still another person who was also wanting to um, chat. And we just haven't had a chance to do it yet. And that would put me at my four. And I would be like buried under like, I don't even know. Um, the promise turnaround is nothing. The promise turnaround is I will work two hours a day. And what I get in two hours a day, it could be little could be a lot depends on the complexity depends on how much crap I have to sift through depends on the expectations you know and, and that's why it's also hard until I do this for a few months to be able to tell people like how much content can I expect and I'm like I don't know yet dude and I know it'll get better as we work together more but like at, at the beginning when I'm looking for approval like am I on the right track is this good um it's it's not a lot <laughs> so it also depends on what they want so I was just feeling really really nervous and I was just like I don't know man I feel like I'm already fla like floundering and failing and I'm two days into this you know what I'm saying and I'm just um but all of this is happening because I put it out there into the universe that I wanted to learn grow and do this as a business to make money. Is that correct? Yes. And the universe gave me exactly what I asked for, which was customers, clients, whatever you want to call them. And now the universe, it's, it's literally the universe slapping you across the face saying, put up or shut up. And I'm like crying about it. But I also, I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to put my big girl pants on and just like put my head down and get to work. Like, I don't know if I need to do Pomodoro, set a timer, whatever, but it's got to happen. Right. And so yeah, it is a soft beta launch, and um, I know it'll get better, but it really was kind of the slap in the face. I had these grandiose ideas of, like, how much content I would be spitting out, all this different stuff, and I'm just feeling like, er, maybe this is not the best idea. Abort, abort. But, uh, you know, it's been two days, so <laughs> we're going to see. Okay, well, we are going to see, and good Lord about, like, being able to do this, bringing on the more clients, hiring someone from, you know, the overseas place, being able to control how they do the same thing and communicate, like, I don't even know yet how I would do that. It's one of those things, like, my mind boggles at the thought of it right now. And it's, you know, <laughs> planning the marathon before I've actually, like, learned to walk, basically. <laughs> I'm, like, crawling right now, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to run a marathon. Anyways, <laughs> we're starting with a walk to the end of the, the sidewalk. We'll see how that goes. But it really got me thinking, though, um, since it was something that I had in my plan, um, now I know, you know, what would be some of these milestones that I would be looking for? How do people know or find out about you? How do you get money from them? And I saw someone on Twitter talk about how, like, people spend a lot of time trying to make invoices prettier. They worry about the wrong things. And I was like... I could see where people would go wrong with that, thinking my invoice doesn't look pretty enough or it's not detailed enough. And, and I will say that I was, I guess, pleasantly surprised at the fact after I read that tweet where I was like, yeah, I guess if I didn't already have an invoice template or if I didn't already have something saved where I could just slap in a new email and send it off. Um, and since I've already talked to that person, they kind of know what they're getting. And I just laid it out in one sentence, like 
30 days from, you know, the business day after I get access to video assets of two hours a day on Monday through Friday basis, um, I would have probably like freaked out and spent a lot more time worrying about what that invoice looked like too. So I was like, you know what I mean? Like the person who's never created an invoice before, that's, that's their first learning step or building block. And so at least I can be like, oh, I've come on the other side of that and looking back and being like that, that part is not the one that's holding me back. Now it's delivering on the promise and being able to, you know, complete the things that I did. And it is interesting because with every new challenge, obstacle or whatever, you just uncover more. <laughs> and it's how you keep moving forward and wading through. But I really want to chat with all of you guys about this because I want to know like, what goals have you set for yourself this you know, this new year or this month, and now we're, you know, almost um, mid-January here. And what, besides just the idea of the goal, what would be the milestones and steps that you would need? So like I said, um, one was being able to take payments, and then another was um, being able to intake and get the information that I would need. And then another is, how do I edit it? And so now, do I ask for things without assets and, and things already on it? Or do I ask for raw footage or, you know, all of these things that I'm learning along the way. And then be like, okay. And then what would be next is like, um, you know, prioritizing their list of preferred social media sites and preferences for content. And then actually starting to categorically work through each one of those things. How do I deliver those assets to them? How do I ensure that they're doing a good job. What would I do if next month one of them wants to renew and do another month? Like, how would that work? And so those are the things as you kind of go through it and are building the roadmap, you don't see it to see it until you're probably in the middle of it. So if any of you have a specific goal and you're having problems seeing through the weeds or through the forest, through the trees, and if that's something you want to brainstorm, we can certainly do that. But it's just an interesting life journey and experience to go through this and then also sometimes be like wow even when you were so sure about something whether it was the way that you wanted you know a business to grow or something like that even when you get it sometimes it isn't what you think it's going to be and again it's that pursuit the pursuit of happiness the pursuit of your goals the pursuit uh, pursuit of the business that you want but in actuality the execution of it is where we start to stumble and like have our a harder time with it. So I just want to encourage you if you're finding yourself in a situation similarly to one, like maybe not freak out about it, but also be like, what's the next best logical thing I can do? Okay, the form for Google is broken and locked to my domain only. How do I look how to give access to everybody? Great. That's, that's, you know, step number one. Oh, I can't get people to pay me for, um, because my site is broken. How do I turn off the sandbox environment. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, I needed to maybe start with one video and get an approval and make sure I'm on the right track. Right. And oh, once that's happened, okay. And, and just kind of methodically take each objection or obstacle or thing that's in your way and really kind of just kind of like cut it down into what is the most digestible thing that I can change right now that will help me affect the outcome that I want. That's the big thing that I want to share with y'all. And thank you so much also for saying that um, the blinged boots, you know, that was a labor of love that took like two weeks, <laughs> two weeks, no doubt. And in fact, in fact, I just posted the first time ever, this was today, like an hour, two hours ago, the first time I've ever put those shoes on and I was scared shitless to put them on because, because here's, here's the deal, what you're supposed to do is wear your boots a little bit each day for a little bit to get your foot to kind of like conform to the boot and get comfortable and stretch out your leather a little bit, right? Did I do that? No, not even a little bit. They were like straight out of the box. Tried them on once, took them off, started blinging. I was like, started blinging. And then I was like, girl, you're so stupid because the first time you put those on and those things are, those little rhinestones are hanging on for their dear life with this glue, you're gonna put your fat foot in there. It's not fat, it's just that like, sometimes new cowboy boots are a little tight right and they so once you get your fat in, <laughs> fat foot in I tried not to say fat and then I said it even more emphatically once you get your foot in there I just had this dream this nightmare where I put my foot in and all the like the rhinestones just come like coming off in like a shower of like 
<laughs> rhinestones falling on the ground. And if I was on hardwood, you would just hear like, like the rainfall of like rhinestones coming, like popping off. But, um, and I did lose one and I was just on carpet and it was only for like literally five minutes. And then I was afraid, I don't know how to take them off because when you take them off, usually you'd grab maybe your boot by the heel, but there's rhinestones on the heel too. So you could totally rip them right off. And so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The boots are a little snug. So I'm a little afraid. And so someone said, oh yeah, I was wondering when we were going to see those in real life. And I'm like, it might be one of the first days of auditions, um, because I'd like some of the stones to still be intact. And I make no guarantees if I were to wear them beforehand that they would still be intact. So, um, by the way, our auditions for the dance team that I'm on are coming up at the end of this month. And, um, they start two days after my birthday. And not only that, but I am going to get to be a guest judge for, um, a few of the days it's not um so that's very exciting and so the way that it kind of works is they'll sometimes break the groups up into different levels and so i'll get to do maybe some judging for some of the first couple of levels that for a team like maybe i'm not on and then i can give an opinion on that so that's very exciting it's my first year being able to do that and i think y'all know i've been doing um like these dance lessons and everything where like i help um, others who have specific questions about maybe the audition dance and process and stuff. And that's been super fun. So it'll be really great to get to see some of them like dance and, um, try out for their team. So I'm very excited about that. And, um, I think the boots will be making an appearance, but all that being said, what I was trying to get to is if you would like to see the blinged boots that pixel Pia is talking about, I did an Instagram reel or, or no, it's not an Instagram. It's a Facebook reel, which you can see under Shelly Saves a Day. Or you can see it, I think, on my TikTok. I put those two places. So if you want to see the first look, the first time wearing the blinged out cowboy boots, um, I just did that a couple hours ago. So I just posted it. Go take a peek at it if you want to see it. <laughs> I'm very proud of those. Adam's Exploits, great to see you. Where did you go to dinner? Where did you go to dinner? Oh man, y'all, I, like many of us out there, January 1st, I'm like, mm, maybe this year I'm not going to like force feed myself double cheeseburgers. Decided to try and be on a diet and be a little bit more healthy, right? And so I also started, um, so if you see me more irritable, it's probably just because I'm hungry, okay? But I... See, the brain fog is real. It's even worse. Started, what is it? Noom? Noon? Noom. <laughs> and um, it's one where you start with meal tracking, but it tries to work in a little bit of psychology as well, like helping retrain your brain. Um, maybe sometimes swapping out different foods and, and giving you some you know articles to read and stuff like that. So I've been doing that since January 3rd, maybe. And um, I... I do get a little anxious because you have to weigh yourself every day, every morning at the same time. And so like you would like, just like your entrepreneur journey, just in reverse, you'd like it to go from one point to another point in a nice little like line. But no, mine has been like a teeter totter, which really pisses me off some days. Cause I'm like, I was so good. I like stayed under my calories. I like, I was being so good. How can I be up two pounds? You know, even though it's the same time of day, it's the same scale. And I'm like, seriously and then the next day it's you know 0.7 or like and it's just all over the place and it's very disheartening as you're watching that but you're still trying to have this end goal in mind which is you know fit better into your clothes or um, you know lose some weight or whatever else it is it's the same you guys it is the same as trying to understand how to get to the goal that you have set for yourself and where you started from what you think it's going to be, which is that linear, nice little, you know, diagonal line and what the actual reality is, which is the peaks and valleys. And I tell you, man, those peaks and valleys, they can suck. <laughs> they can really suck. And I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so I guess both of my charts, weight and entrepreneurship, <laughs> they're both doing this. And if yours are doing the same, we're all in this together. Okay. So 
I had a friend who was holding a pair of boots to her ears and she told me she was listening to soul music. I love it. A Brazilian steakhouse. So what's funny is we have this, um, so obviously the dance group, we all wear cowboy boots. And um, so there's this saying in the group that when you're shopping um, and, you know, you're just window shop, you go to smell the boots. And I put down in like in one of our Facebook groups today I was like y'all I have a problem you guys cannot let me go smell the boots anymore because I have bought more boots in the last like month than I have in the last entirety of my life and it's because I also I had like I wanted to get some new boots for this year for team boots because the last uh, last year's boots they're fine but I just wanted some different ones and and so like some of it is already anticipatory for that of making sure I have boots that are ready. And then, I don't know, because I've done the blinging and I've gone completely mad, <laughs> I'm like, you know what else would be really, like, cool? I'm going to do some other projects because this is a side story, of course. I, I think this entire stream has been a side story. It's a side stream. I'm sorry, but I have the microphone and you don't, so you're going to listen. So, unless you leave, which is rude and hurtful, but I won't know. So, there was this pair of old gringo boots. They were a metallic lime green and I have not been able to stop thinking about them I have not been able to you know what though you know what else you smell before you buy them well actually lots of things like perfume and cologne um guitars oh my gosh there's nothing better than sniffing a guitar before you buy it and again you just put your nose and smell like cedar or like rosewood or oh my god it's intoxicating but there was this pair of old gringo boots that were metallic lime green and I tell you I have not been able to stop thinking about them for over a year over a year and this also happened with a pair of boots that I um that I that started and kicked off this entire new boot buying session we call it new boot brain but I I bought these boots um, because I wanted to wear them in this parade that we do every year. It's called the Solstice Parade, but it's like sunshine. And we're not allowed to wear our team boots. We wear other boots. And I was like, I really want to wear these boots. They have these like leather flowers all on the side, and they're just freaking amazing. Couldn't find them anywhere. Found them one last place. They were on sale. They were calling my name, so I bought them. And then I, I think I posted in, in, in my Facebook group. I was just like, I found them. They're mine. I found them. <laughs> but I... Uh, I digress. I also saw these boots, these lime green boots, and I've not been able to stop thinking about them. Called this place. They don't make them anymore. They were a special order, one-off type of boot. They did a small run for this boutique place, and you can't get them. And that's why I can never find them anywhere else. And so I was like, my stupid ass was like, you know, it's really going to be easy and a great idea. Buy some boots, buy some paint, metallic and a mix of like neon green, get some glitter, and then throw some rhinestones on it. So I am up for this entire arts and crafts project that could go very horribly wrong. But I'm, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it because I was just like, I can't get those boots out of my head. So the next best thing I could try and do is attempt to make them, which I think is probably going to be murderously awful. But I just have it in my head. Again, this, this lofty goal. I have this lofty goal and idea that, oh yeah, it's going to be so easy to do that. Just like, oh, it's going to be so easy to launch content minis and get clients. And then I did it. And now I'm fumbling through it. Oh, it's going to be so easy to lose weight. And then I didn't even eat the burrito that I wanted. I got a burrito bowl minus the tortilla, which is like 300 calories. And I was still up two pounds the next day. It's like, not fair, y'all. And then I am just thinking, oh, yeah, it'll be so easy to recreate metallic lime green boots with lime green crystals. I'm shooting for the moon y'all but that if that wasn't enough my stupid ass saw these other boots with butterflies on them i'm just telling you now all of my secrets and i'm just i'm here to like seriously i don't know there's a life lesson in here some i've already given you a life lesson as it comes to the boots so yeah it's justified but here's the thing is i saw these boots that have like butterflies and this aqua color on the toe and so my stupid ass was like you know it'd be really great Shelly you should buy some turquoise crystals and bedazzle the crap out of the toe area and it will just be really really beautiful and um I've been I've been eyeing these other boots and they're not my size they're, they're like too big 
And so I was like, I don't know anything about trying to shrink your cowboy boots. I only know about trying to stretch them. But I was like, am I just going to get some insoles and some little thing in the heel that apparently can make it so that it fits snugger? Yes. Am I going to try and bedazzle these with the aquamarine turquoise um, crystals all over the toe? Also, yes. I, I really am, y'all. So I have two bedazzling projects coming up. I have no idea if either one of them is going to work out right. I think the aquamarine turquoise crystal is going to be actually a lot better than the lime green. Um, the lime green is, I'm not going to, I'm scared. I, I could ruin a perfectly fine pair of boots. And someone would be smart and being like, hey, you know what you should do? Test run color match and mix a little and try with some boots that you're not really wearing <laughs> i'm not gonna do that we're throwing caution to the wind y'all and we're just we're just doing it and if you have been following along on the journey that is the cowboy boots like i said you can go see it on tiktok or on my facebook reels um because i haven't yet put it up on instagram i don't know if i will because like no one watched it anyway but um you can see me wearing my bedazzled boots that took over two weeks for the very first time. And this happened just a few hours ago. I, I, I took that today. I posted it today. So if you want to see the red boots with the crystal bling on them, you can check that out. Maybe I should put it as a YouTube short. Yeah, I should probably do that. Uh, but I would do it on my Shelly Nathan channel, which is kind of like my vloggy um, life channel. Because I try and... <laughs> A kid that I try and keep this channel about YouTube and video editing type stuff. But I have put lots of other things on this channel that are neither of those. But you know what I'm saying. So I will put the boot bling wear for the first time on my Shelly Nathan channel. But um, yeah, if you want to follow along on the Chronicles, that will be the other boot project. I will say, I know that the green is going to just be probably a disaster but I just can't not try do you see what I'm saying I just can't not try you signed up for the Amazon influencer program did you did you get accepted Emilio did you get accepted that's so freaking rad. I love it. Okay, yeah, if you get accepted. I know I've done a live stream at least on the Amazon Influencer Program. I did one with an interview with Dan Courier, who has even a course, and he's the one who got me into the Amazon Influencer Program kind of like world. So if you want to watch that one, watch that one. I also have done, um, I think it was like last week maybe, where we talked about the Amazon Influencer Program. I ran through a bunch of stuff, uh, which is why you signed up. Um, go watch that one again, or if you have questions, let me know. Instantly approval. Oh my gosh, you get another one. Mm. Oh, pump for you, man. Okay, so my words of advice are going to be do not wait. Get your first three videos for the shoppable on-site video placements up as soon as possible. And then don't touch it because um, you got to get through the two levels of approval, right? So first level of approval just to get the video approved and then second for the on-site placement and it's taking now longer and longer and longer so it's taking up to six to eight weeks so don't sleep on that you can live stream right, right away if you want to but get those videos in right away for the on-site video placement I'm so excited for you that's amazing I love it I love it oh my gosh yes get busy on that that's so exciting I love it yeah okay great so I think I saw that there was something here. Did I get any shorts clients? Yes, there was. I've gotten two. I have a possibility of a third, and I have an open conversation I need to have with someone else about the fourth spot. So I might be sold out. I thought about doing like an update, like, oh, two spots left. But I didn't know if that would be like one of those where it's like it took you this long to get two, or it would be like because it's supposed to trigger the FOMO and people like, oh, I better contact them before I – you know, miss out on this chance, or if it would be like, I don't know, you know, and that's the thing is I think about it way too much, the ideation phase of, of like, what does it all mean? And what are other people thinking? And this year, it really has to be about like, I can't process all of the possibilities of things that you could be thinking when I just have to keep moving forward towards what I want. So yeah, um, I did, I did. I, so I, I was, 
brainstorming how in this dream I should rename it how one LinkedIn post made me $1,000, right? Two clients. How's that for a catchy title? It's pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. So <laughs> there's that. Um, you guys love me? Aww. And you inspire. Well, I'm so proud of you too. I know that you've done a ton. I saw even more stuff on um, Redbubble and I saw everyone give it up for Pixel Pia. She made her um, first sale today on Redbubble after, I don't know, like a hundred and something listings and uh, one month, two months of doing it. So that's faster than I did. That's more listings than I have. So everyone give props to Pixel Pia right now. Give her some, give her some applause. So Chantel, okay, here it is. I have decided this year to have focus seasons rather than resolution. That is a great idea. I love that. Q1 is finance, Q2 is fun, Q3 is health, and Q4 is adventure. Oh my gosh. I am proud of all of my viewers today. Oh wait. Mm. Mm. Trendens Tech says, I've never smelled boots before. Are you buying cowboy boots? Because we're talking about the leather smell, right? The leather smell is like intensely intoxicating. Are you kidding me? So good. It's so good. Okay. Um, and, and it's funny because you like, you go and, and you want to smell. It just really means you want to get close enough. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, this one. <laughs> you know that TikTok sound? You're like, you're coming home with me. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're coming home with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yes. One month, six tutorials soon. Hell yeah. Um, see, look at that. You're making content. Now you're going to make some money. You're making sales. You're learning life experience things. I am so proud of every single one of you. Seriously. Emilio! F approval for like Amazon stuff. Chantel! But for all of your seasons of like awesomeness, I'm going to call it seasons of awesomeness because I love it. It's freaking rad. And then shrinking boots is some quantum physics. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, right, like leather can contract again, too. So there, there's some weird stuff. Like if you want your leather to stretch, which is going the opposite direction, then sometimes you like you wet it down and then you wear like two pairs of socks and then you get your foot in there while the leather is still wet. So it kind of expands a little bit as it dries which is really cool, right? And actually, everyone give it up for Dave too because he also um, launched a digital product with like a calendar with like beautiful shots of Vancouver and launched a new YouTube channel. Um, it's fantastic, right? Let me get one for him. I feel like this entire live stream is just me giving you guys rounds of applause. And you know what? I'm cool with it. We have the coolest, coolest group of people. And I am so damn appreciative that you guys come back week after week to come hang out with me, to celebrate each other, to keep pushing each other forward with all of our endeavors, all of our crazy things. I have this feeling like a year from now, too, we're all going to be looking back just at like tremendously different places in our lives and like being able to reminisce about when... You know, we were first talking about first being approved for the Amazon Influencer Program, right? Because if you guys think about it, in one year in Amazon Influencer Money, I made, what was it, 21000 So, Emilio, you could be sitting here and you could far surpass one year from now, you could be making, let's just say, next year you make $25,000. Like, that would be pretty freaking awesome. Like, right? Oh, my gosh. Gosh. Can you imagine? That'd be amazing. So, Savage Scientist, you just landed a new job in dev security, so I'll focus on my content or on my new... Okay, everyone give... Oh my gosh. I am proud of every single one of you. You guys have no idea. And in fact, I had a phone screen today with a company that I am possibly moving forward through a job interview phase with. Um, nothing concrete about if I would, I'm sure there's tons of other, can't, I'm just saying, we had an initial phone screen, we had a chat, we're moving on to um, scheduling the first of like six la layers of interviews. And I'm still in talks with um, a big tech company as well for possibly going back to a real job. Um, we'll see. The hope was to not have to go back to a real job and have enough money from content minis to just be able to supplement with my Amazon to have enough each month, right? So I'm halfway there because I've got half the clients on my roster filled. So um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. But um, 
wow, I am, I don't even know if we could talk about other things right now because that's such a high to come down off of from, I think every single person who is in this chat tonight had something that we could celebrate. You know what? We should do a, a stream like that where we just talk about all the cool things. There's enough shit in this world that we don't need to like talk about, but like coming together and being able to be like, crushed it, crushed it this week. Here's what I did. We should do that some month. Um, maybe we'll do that as a member exclusive um, chat one where everyone can like comment, but only us like actually, like, maybe come on. What is that? <gasps> we got a super chat. Ooh, oh yeah, that that thing is way off of the wrong size. It's it's locked. Oh, it's locked. How do I? Ugh. Well, anyways, it came up on screen. Thank you so much for <laughs> the super chat. Led, um, let let me let me get a song here. Let's all do a boogie jam. Yeah. In support of each other, we're all celebrating together right now. This is not about, this is not about me. This is about, this is just a really cool day, y'all. Yeah, that's a good one. By the way, not that song, but other music, if you're looking for music that you can use on your live streams or in your videos and whatnot, you can check out Creator Mix over here. This is Dean Nimmin and Nick Nimmin's pet project as well. We got a super chat from Savage Scientist. Thank you so much. Let's do one of these here real quick. One second, one second. Here it is. scientists thank you so much for your super chat appreciate you so much it's always good to have you in the chat you remember way back in the tube buddy days when you would come check in on the live streams back when i did those it's been a few years that we've been together now right wow okay y'all i don't think there's a better way to end this live stream thank you so much for uh, the super chats um that's really really kind of you i'm so proud of every single freaking stop it everybody <laughs> you guys <laughs> okay wait wait thank you Chantal. I was trying to... Stuff. There it is. Oh my God. You guys, best live stream ever. I hope everyone got to feel good together collectively because this group, awesome. So much awesome all around. So much awesome all around. Um, we can't even contain it. It just spills out into the world. Appreciate every single one of you. I will see you guys soon because I have to put out a regular video. Maybe not by the end of this week, but I will put one out before next live stream. I'll tell you that. And um, I will see you all next week for another round of Triple T Thursday. I hope you all have a great night. I'll see you all later. Bye, guys. <laughs>